Good, happy Saturday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. First up, Shoppers Swarm Mall of New Hampshire for Black Friday. Hundreds flocked to stores to take advantage of Black Friday deals. The National Retail Federation estimated that about 30 million Americans would be shopping Thursday, and the Mall of New Hampshire was no different. Nashua Holiday Stroll adds extra security clothes roads downtown. Great American Downtown has announced it will be adding an additional 20 officers to patrol the 2015 Winter Holiday Stroll. New Hampshire residents enjoy warm weather on Black Friday. The Thanksgiving storm of 2014 was a furious one. It knocked out power for over 200,000 customers, and on Black Friday, temperatures hovered near 32 degrees. Much of that power was still out, and almost a foot of snow blanket parts of New Hampshire. In contrast, this year's Black Friday is warm, with sunny temperatures reaching mid-50s to low 60s around the state in Concord. Temperature reached 62 degrees, just three degrees shy of a record set in 1976. The average temperature for this date is 44 degrees. Seacoast businesses take part in Plaid Friday. Black Friday is likely the biggest American shopping event of the year. Huge crowds of deal-seeking shoppers line up early at big box stores to get their holiday shopping done early for exclusive prices. However, some shoppers turned their attention back to the local economy to participate in Plaid Friday. Officer found dead in his home. A former Mills police officer indicated for fabricating a story about a shootout with a mystery gun man in September and calling in a fake bomb threat to the high school has been found dead. Students identify New Hampshire's dumbest law. Students at Newport Middle School have won a contest that challenged them to find New Hampshire's dumbest law. Animal rights. Activists to hold demonstration near fishing game over Bobcat. Amer animal rights activists are targeting the New Hampshire Fishing Game Department, which is deciding whether to restore hunting and trapping season for Bobcat.
Rochester Police Arrest 2 on Drug Charges. Two people were arrested in Rochester on drug-related charges, according to authorities. Families affected by 2014 Thanksgiving storm look back. A traditional Thanksgiving celebration is not complete without a turkey, cookie, cooking, pies, ready to be eaten, and family gathered in the house. But last year's storm left many people without power and stuck up with Gravy Creek without a ladle. Rochester Church provides community meals for Thanksgiving. For years, the True Memorial Baptist Church in Rochester has been serving Thanksgiving meals with all the trimmings to those in need. The event on average brings 500 people per year to the church where volunteers serve guest using real china tight security ahead of climate summit no 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 the COP21 will be held. That was the answer of French Foreign Minister Laurenta Fabos when asked whether the UN Climate Conference knew as COP21 would be moved or postponed after terror attacks in Paris on November 13th. It was an answer predict predictable as the question was intervened. To call off such a ma major gathering of world leaders in France capital would have been unremarkable surrendered to terrorism. Slain officer was once champion skater. Years before Garrett Swain joined a Colorado campus police department, he was making intricate dance moves on ice. Swain, 44, was one of the three people killed Friday when a gunman attacked a Planned Parenthood clinic in Colorado Springs. UNICEF teen AIDS death triple since 2000. The number of absolute deaths of AIDS has tripled in the last 15 years despite efforts to curb Interfections with majority of case reported in Southern Shiria, Africa, the United Nations Children Fund announced Friday. Witnesses faced off with gunmen at Colorado Clinic. A gunman who killed three people at a Planned Parenthood clinic in Colorado started firing in the parking lot, unlashing a barrel of bullets with cold stone face, a witness said. 
And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday. Goodbye, everyone.